Here at Steamworks Espresso, we're undergoing another refurbishing of a, a three-group La Marzocco Linea from roughly 1990. Uh, this is typical shape for most of these machines here in our disassembly basket. You can see, uh, you know, all the wiring is just filthy and the machine itself has been exposed to heat and everything's nice and crispy. Uh, and all the valves and lines are ruined and old and, and failed. Uh, and full of scale. So we're just going to go through a quick visual here of uh, the machine during its disassembly. Uh, we're going to give you a full walkthrough of this one as well, being built to like new condition uh, after it's done being refurbished. We've disconnected most of the pipettes and lines, wiring uh, for the machine. We're getting down to the, the uh, bones of the machine, which is just removing the boilers and the groups uh, and sending the frame off to the powder coat shop. So uh, just to do a visual here, so a lot of people wonder why these machines need to be refurbished or, or what is the major cause for uh, them slowing dispensing and uh, getting colder over the years. Number one, all the parts were out, the elements, the brew valves, uh, every piece in the machine operates 24-7 at very high temperatures. Number two, uh, water quality is a big issue, uh, filtration is a big issue, and scale buildup is the primary issue that you would have a machine go down over the years. And you can see here, this is an excellent indicator for any of you who are shopping for La Marzocco or any other espresso machine. Uh, anytime you see green or any discoloration coming out out of anywhere on the neck here, uh, possibly where the group meets the brew boiler or any of the uh, brass fittings that you see. If you see any sort of green discoloration like this here, that is an excellent indicator that the machine is completely scaled over and you're dealing with a machine that is done and needs to be refurbished. A lot of people think they can save money by buying used equipment and most every piece of used equipment that we refurbish uh, is in this condition under the hood. So it's really important that if you're shopping for a used machine, make sure you check those things visually uh, and make sure you don't see things like this under the element, just absolutely trashed. So just a little tip from here at Steamworks Espresso, we're going to take you through once this machine is uh, a little more stripped and we'll get you through to the final process. And here we have our group that's been disassembled uh, prior to the video, or loosened rather, we're going to go in here and show you exactly what what these look like before refurbishing them. Give you some insight as to the condition of everything. Pretty, pretty rusty, ugly bolts here. Now here you can see hopefully, just how absolutely filthy the interior is of this group head. Um, this is the upper plate, bottom plate ring, which really isn't of too much relevance. This is just where your portafilter locks in. But really, the biggest part we want to get across is you can see the interior of this group head. I mean, this is <clears throat> partial flow water to warm the group, and then uh, through this pipette here we have the actual brew water uh, which comes through and all this is in really just terrible shape pretty foul and this is typical of what you're drinking out of on a you know 10 to 15 year old machine pretty common to be in this condition as a matter of fact most every one of them we open up looks like this so um, just a little bit of insight into the group head here as we continue and we're back with our La Marzocco Linea uh, after being completely disassembled and stripped to the frame. Uh, basically the frame is, is by itself at this point. Everything's been taken completely down. We've got our brew boiler here. You can see it's really atrocious, uh, full of scale and garbage on the inside and outside. And that's very typical for most machines, regardless of what brand it is. Um, and then of course the steam boiler's in the back and the frame is completely disassembled and ready to go to the sandblasters and we then follow up with the powder coating uh, of the rest of the, the machine's frame. So you have a little insight there as to what they look like when they're disassembled and obviously most of these machines within 10 to 15 year uh, age period need to be refurbished. Thanks for watching.